Hello and thanks for watching our ultimate guide to bay parking. In this tutorial you will learn everything you need to perfect your bay parking. So whether you are currently learning to drive or you have already passed your test and would like some tips to help you improve your parking confidence, keep watching this tutorial as it has something for you. So when it comes to parking in a car park you have two options really, you can either drive in or reverse in. What you decide will depend on what you are doing, it is often safer to reverse into a bay rather than reverse out of one, but that is not always practical if you are going to be loading up your boot with the shopping. To be effective at parking you will need to develop three key skills, control, observation and accuracy. To park safely keep your car slow, to do this you will need good clutch control. Steer while the car is moving to avoid dry steering as this will put unnecessary wear on your car. Observation should be all round and effective, making sure you look out the back to avoid hidden objects. To improve your overall awareness consider opening a window and turn the radio down, now you can see and hear what is going on around you. Ok so when reversing use all your mirrors to look out the back but please remember there is no substitute for actually turning your head and looking out the rear window as this clip will illustrate. So as we look round, what we couldn't see in the mirrors is that car with the family getting into it. So let's look at that again, if we look in the left mirror we can just about see that car with someone getting into it, look in the centre mirror it is not visible. And of course in the right mirror we won't see that same car, but if we look out the back there it is and so that's quite a significant blind spot that is now visible. Now let's focus on the third skill, accuracy. Learn how to park in the centre of the bay in one reverse without the need to take additional shunts forward. Let's get started with reversing into a bay. This is the safest option as we are choosing to reverse into a closed space with fewer risks. This means we can later drive forwards out of the bay making it much easier to see the hazards in a busy car park. There are two really easy methods to reverse into a bay. The angle method where you angle your car in front of the bay, as shown here in a busy car park. Or the three line method where you drive past the bay and reverse back in. So let's get started and we will look at the angle method. So I'm just going to show you that on a piece of paper first, so I'm just going to draw up my lines for the bays. So here we'll be parking on the left. And that's the bay we're going to go into, so we're going to drive forwards and just park across the bay, that's position 1, then we move forwards at a 45 degree angle, pop it into reverse and then we look in our mirror and then we see that line and that's what we're going to use the guide on and then we just back up into the bay so we finish nice and square into the centre of that bay. Ok so let's walk you through the angle method out in the car park. So I'm going to pull up in front of my bay there, I've just marked the white line that's in front of my car and notice how my door is just in front of that bay. So that's where I want to be to start, inside the car that same white line is just under my door mirror. So I'm going to look all round, move forward, steer to the left to the 45 degree angle. So there's my angle, come to a stop. Now I'm just going to look in my right mirror and I can see that same white line just pointing at my door handle. So I'm going to start to reverse back, steer the opposite direction, looking all round as I go. And now I'm going to glance in my right door mirror and just make sure I'm staying nice and close to that. And if I just look over in my left mirror I can see the other white line also close to my door handle. So I just continue to back in slowly, when them lines are parallel I'm just going to straighten up my wheels, looking out the back and to the sides until the front of my car is inside the bay. To check this the line that marks the front of the bay is just under my door mirror. So let's take a look at that from inside the car. So we're looking all round, just moving slowly then steering to avoid that dry steering, moving forward at a slow pace. We get that line lined up in the mirror, looking all round again, reverse gear, steering the opposite direction, so notice nice quick movements on the steering wheel. Looking all round and then we're parallel, the wheel goes straight and that wheel will stay nice and straight now as we look back until the, the line's just under the mirror there. 
and so the front of the car is in and we're done. Okay so let's take a look at the other method, the three line method. In this method we drive past our bay and reverse back into it. So that's the bay we want to go into. So we position about a metre away from the bays, drive up to line one, line two, line three, pop it in reverse and steer to the left and round we go into the bay. Okay so let's have a look at that in the car park, we'll just walk you through. So as we crawl up to the bay, there's line one, sort of level with our steering wheel. Then we move forwards to line two, again level with the steering wheel and then finally up to line three. So that's our point of turn, so we're going to pop it in reverse, reverse back and steer straight away. Moving nice and slow, that's a full lock on. And as I come round, I look in the right door mirror, I can see that white line. And I want to come in nice and close. So the back end will go in without impeding on the other bay. So when I come round, just as before, when the lines are parallel in the mirror, I straighten the wheels, looking all round, and just reverse back until the front of the car is in the bay. So let's just see that again in real time. So you can see the car's nice and slow. We're about a metre out from those bays. We went up to line three. Round we go, getting that steering on. At this point, I can see the lines in my, in my right mirror there. Just keeping it nice and tight. Perfect. Okay, so that's reversing done. Let's look at driving forwards into a bay. Be careful not to position too close to the bays, otherwise you just won't fit in. Instead, if we position about a metre out down the centre of the lane and then turn in, we're fitting there nicely without going into the bays either side. Okay, so let's show you this in the car park. So there's our bay and we roll up there. That's our point of turn. So we're going to use that white line and it comes just under the mirror. Then we turn in. And if you look at the position of the car, we go in there just nicely down the centre, straighten the wheels and in. Okay, so let's consider how we're going to get out of this space. So we're going to need to reverse out, but if we steer too early, the front's going to swing into the bay next to us, whichever way we go, which is not good use if we've got a car next to us. So the solution is keep your wheels nice and straight until your front's out, then steer and out you go. So let's look at that in the car park. So we're going to wait, steer late there. That's the point of turn. And out we go. And let's look at that the other direction. So again, we're looking all around. When the front wheels are just going to come out of the bay, we steer. So the front doesn't swing into the other bay. We stop just short so we don't go in the bays behind, look all round and away we go. During your driving test the examiner may ask you to either drive forwards into a bay and reverse out or to reverse into a bay and drive out. The method you choose is entirely up to you so just do what you've been practicing with your instructor. The examiner is going to be watching for your overall control of the car and your all-round effective observations. If you make a mistake and you don't finish within the bays, don't panic, just adjust your position and finish between the lines. So that's the end of our video tutorial on bay parking. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and comment about what you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next video.